Hey guys, we're all going here again. Uh, I put a video out a little while ago um, about my new uh, Yugo uh, AK and realized real quick that the lighting was extremely dark. It was very hard to see. Uh, like that. So I thought for this video I would go ahead and get into a different place and uh, go ahead and uh, shoot this video again. Um, first, of all, first of all, this weapon is loaded. I don't keep a weapon in my home. It's not loaded. The simple fact that I don't have children around, first of all. Second of all, there's no point in having a weapon in a home to be used for defense if it has no ammunition in it. What good does that do? This is the Yugo Slavian, and I'll read to you exactly what it says. It's a Stava dash Kragujevac Yugoslavia. It's the M70 AB2. Uh, as you can see, it is the underfolder version. It had the uh, Stock on it. Um, it ha of course has the grenade launcher sight. Well, that's really cool to look at and everything like that. Let's face it, most of us are never going to shoot a AK grenade. And it's just not going to happen. Um, I do like this particular grip much better than I did the one on my washer. It, it, it's thicker. This way, well, down here, try to get this where you can see it. It's thicker this way than my, than my uh, Romanian washer was. Washer wasn't quite that thick, so it fits. I don't have a really you know, big hand. I mean, here's my hand in comparison to the gun. Turn like this, you can see. It. I mean, here's my hand in comparison to the gun to kind of give you a, a uh, you know, frame of reference. I don't have a real big hand, but it feels better to me. It feels more secure, more stable to me. Um, one thing I like about the Yugo is having magazine dimples on it. It holds your magazine very well. Um, all of this in here is nice and smooth. There's no rough edges. The mag release is a very solid spring. Um, the safety actuates very nicely. You hear that click? Okay. Um, it does have the bolt hold open. Now it won't do it on the last round, but it will do it on the on the bolt itself. Um, and then to release it, it's just a simple pull back, let it go. Okay. Uh, it's almost like there's a there's almost like a notch inside there where you almost push down and in and it holds it. Uh, it's not from binding. It, it's just it's made that way. Um, I bought this one used. Typically trying to buy used weapons. But this one was a pretty good deal on it. Um, one thing about the Yugo style uh, AKs that I think are different than most other ones that I've ever seen anyway. And again, I'm not the end-all AK expert. I'm just not. But I have done some research. And all the research that I've done um, says this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but we're going to try it. There's a button right here. Okay. Push that button in, and there's a crossbar that goes all the way across. Let's see if you can see it from this angle any better. Nah, you can't really see it. But there's a, there's a crossbar that goes all the way across right here. And what that does, I put my piston back in. Okay. Take my spring. 
spring back in. Okay, what that what that does, that holds my piston or my spring, excuse me, from going all the way. Okay, what I do, I take it, push it down, and it goes in. Okay, now obviously, you know, you can see that before the uh, dust cover goes on. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm still kind of new to this whole thing here, but if I'm not mistaken, and it's kind of a, once you know how to do it, once you know exactly what it is, it goes on very easily. It took me a while last time to uh, get it on. Of course, with me talking, it's not going to work nearly as well. There you go. Problem solved. So all you do is you put your you put your dust cover on with the pin with your your spring. Um, put your dust cover on. Your spring will be out. You push the button. Box the dust cover on there. Um, another thing. This has the 1.5 millimeter thickness on the um, receiver. I like that. And on my washer, it would fit these AK. Are these a Tapco mags? And yes, this is a fully loaded mag. There's no reason to have not fully loaded mags, but we'll go over that in another video. Fits this one just fine. Okay. There's a little bit of wobble back and forth. That's the mag, not the gun. Okay. There's no wobble up, up and down. There is a little bit side to side, but that's, again, that's the mag, not the not the weapon. Um, I have, a, I have here a steel mag. Okay. Very, very little wobble left and right. There's actually more up and down wobble on this mag than there is on the TACCO mag. Okay. And then I have a uh, palm circle 10 mag. It goes in. There's just a little bit of up and down, and a little bit of, actually there's very little left and right, but there is a little bit of up and down. So, all the mags, I'm not too worried about them. Um, they all seem to work very well. Um, to me, this weapon on my shoulder feels better than anything else that I've ever put on my shoulder. Um, and another thing that I do like about the... Um, Yugo's is flip that up. Supposedly, you have glow in the dark night sights. Supposedly, no, I doubt seriously that these these are filled anymore. But if you buy a new one, it will probably last you for a while until you can, you know, get your other night sights put on. Now I'm running this one completely stock right now. No, no mods, no nothing like that on it. Um, no mods, no nothing like that on it. Um, that'll come at a later point in time. My feelings about the AK, and you may not agree, and that's fine, but my feelings about the AK, if a 10-year-old child in West Africa can pick this thing up, pop a mag in it, work the slide, and go to town, why would I want a bunch of stuff on here? It's going to slow me down from doing that. Okay. If I want, and I may eventually put a front rail on here. I may, put, I may eventually just put a front rail on here. And I may possibly put an EOTech on it. I'm thinking about it. I haven't decided yet. If I do, that'll be the only thing that I'll run on here. Other than a uh, spring buffer inside here. Uh, Mr. Lock and Load had a video a while back that had that spring buffer on there, and I really like that. Um, and I will be wrapping the um, under folder stock, some paracord, so when I bring it up, I don't have that chunk of metal digging it. And actually, I, I shoot this weapon, shoot the AK left-handed, but either way, that way I don't have it digging into my chin you can see here okay 
And this, you know, it's not too bad, but it definitely helps to have something soft and cushiony there to uh, rest it on. So anyway, that is the, that's my very quick overview of the Yugo M70A B2. So I'm probably going to leave the other video up for a little while just because I'm kind of in the mood to make videos um, and I want to get them all out there. But uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I look forward to, uh, to learning more from everybody that knows a whole lot more about them than I do. Thanks.